So just the other day, one of my followers DM'd me on Twitter, and he said this, Yo, Mr. Tomato King, have you heard of these YouTubers called Extreme Games? Question mark. Two weeks ago, they apparently made a video saying they're quitting YouTube because they are dying. They are the kings of clickbait. I don't have hard-earned proof that they are lying, but I think you should look into it. Much love, Dakota. Now, I thought briefly about this proposition before deciding, but ultimately I didn't have a choice. Because when you're a kid, what are the three things that every kid wants to grow up to be? Firefighter, astronaut, internet sleuth willing to do whatever it takes to find out whether YouTubers are cunty enough to pretend they're dying for clicks and views. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new side of sautéed spinach and garlic. My name is Leon Lush and I am really happy to have you here for a few minutes. Now typically I like to do really long drawn out intros for no other reason than I love it when obnoxious assholes go down to the comment section and say, oh, video starts at 3 minutes and 42 seconds, thank me later. <laughs> well, fuck you, the video starts now. This is the end. Why quitting YouTube? This isn't clickbait. It's not a joke either. We're actually quitting YouTube. So this is Extreme Games. They're Australian brothers that have a YouTube channel with 4.1 million subscribers, which is... No. <laughs> Uh, fuckload, and they make videos like this, that very clickbaity, you know, when the fidget spinner craze came out, they made 60 videos on that. Uh, a lot of people would consider this kind of content scummy, but honestly, from an entrepreneurial standpoint, it's pretty impressive what they've been able to accomplish on YouTube, making hundreds of thousands of dollars over the course of just a few years, um, with pretty much unwatchable content. We want to see we can, if we can push the boundaries and hit a crazy amount of likes and just smash a like Ugh. on this video. Every single one of you, are you ready to do this? I'm ready to do this. Let's make a lightning fidget spinner right You see what here. I mean? Now, as far as making shitty clickbaity content goes, I could care less. I mean, there's millions of people that do this on the internet, and I say get that money. More power to you. Uh, but the second you start pretending you're dying in order to get clicks and views after your channel's kind of suffering and not performing as well as it used to, well, that's when I start to just raise a little, I raise a little eyebrow to that. Now, this isn't confirmed by any means, and they could have serious health issues, which is terrible, and if they do, I wish them all the best. But if you've been on YouTube for more than 15 minutes and seen some of the shit people pull, well, then you can understand why I'm harboring just a thimble full of skepticism when it comes to shit like this. Also, you have to pardon my appearance. I am doing detective work right now, and I am not dressed for the job. Hold on. That's more like it. Fat guy in a little collar. Hello, folks. My name is Xavier Grimes, and I solemnly swear that we will get to the bottom of this. It's not a joke, either. We're actually quitting YouTube. It's so sad, and our bodies literally can't do it anymore. I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering right now what we're talking about. Um, but pretty much, we're both really sick. All right, so I'm starting to feel like I may have jumped the gun a little bit on this one. He sounds pretty genuine, and I'm concerned that maybe they're actually sick and dying, and I should probably take this jacket off. And you know how you know how painful it is to be locked inside your own body. Yeah. With all this fluid that you can't physically move, you can't eat, you're not hungry. So he talks about kidney disease, and that's awful because it's very difficult to live with kidneys that don't function properly. So I do, that is, that's tough. Uh, but let's see what's going on with this other kid. You know, at the same time that he was dealing with all that, I was actually going through problems and diseases of my own. Um, which, you know, we didn't really want to tell all you guys because it's a pretty big thing. And we don't want to, like, make you guys think like feel bad or anything but yeah you're right dying is a pretty big thing and it is i think a natural reaction for people to feel bad um when people they like are dying so you shouldn't if people feel bad that's fine to feel that way but i have a feeling i have this fucking sneaky snake of a suspicion that there might be something else going on here we're quitting youtube because we're dying not clickbait because a lot of you guys probably are like, well, what's wrong with you? Every single day that I wake up, it's like just absolute vertigo. And if you guys don't know what vertigo is, it's like dizziness. Uh, vertigo? You're dying from vertigo? Uh... You kind of can't live 
y you literally can't live. It's like, you feel like you're in a box and you can't escape. Your mind goes insane. You can't breathe. Y y you just get so tight and worn out and it's just like, you kind of wish you could just put yourself to sleep forever sort of thing. But obviously there's no way to do that. Ah, uh, don't you wish it was possible though, if you could just go to sleep? Forever? And, and never wake up? There's probably another name for that. I can't think of what it is though. Alright, honestly, I feel a little bad. These guys are clearly struggling with some health issues and I don't know the severity of it, but according to them, they're dying, so... You know, I really wish them the best. I hope a miracle happens and they get better and don't die and they're able to... Uh, continue their YouTube videos. Let's see how the rest of the video goes, just to... Let's hope we can get a little more clear on what's going on here. So every single one of you, we're gonna hold a huge giveaway right now. We're gonna give away two iPhone X's, two of them. We're literally gonna give away two of them. That's how much we love you guys. And all you gotta do is literally like this video, turn on notifications on our channel and subscribe. And that's it. And you're entered into the giveaway. We're giving one last giveaway just cause we seriously wanna give back. Cause we honestly love you all so much. That's the first thing. Are you fucking kidding me? A giveaway? A giveaway in your We're Dying video? Where people have to like and subscribe and turn notifications on to stay updated and see if they won the giveaway? In your We're Fucking Dying video? <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a good thing I'm a detective because it's a red flag right here. This is a fucking red mother. This flag is redder. I just cannot. <laughs> Yo. Holy shit, guys. We got a man down right now. Oh, <laughs> Nigel, you son of a bitch. I need a medic! Medic! I'm gonna pop that back in there. See how that does. Okay. Nothing, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Oh, hey, guys. I don't know how to make this video, but Nigel and I gave each other AIDS, and he severed his leg, and we're both dying. I don't think we're gonna be able to upload anymore. And also, we're doing a huge iPhone giveaway with 50 Amazon gift cards. All you have to do is like and subscribe and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me and you'll double your chances to win if you share it on Twitter. Good. You need your body to be able to fight something like this sickness. The saddest part about it is the fact that I took these tablets for two years. So they spend the six minutes like self-loathing about how terrible what they've been going through is. And honestly, you, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not making fun of someone who's having a health problem or going through a health issue in their life. I'm not coming down on them for it. But by God, if they didn't handle this the absolute poorest way possible, if they really are experiencing health problems at all, clearly I, I don't think they're dying. But they, come on, a giveaway on your we're dying? Come, the fuck on, get the fuck out of here. And if we don't get better, this will be our last video that we ever make. But if we do, you guys can probably expect a lot of videos from us. Now, fortunately for us, at the time of this recording, this video was uploaded about three, three and a half weeks ago. And wouldn't you know it, uh, they uploaded a video since, which we'll get into in just a second. With the power of us and the power of Jesus, Jesus Christ and God, We'll be able to do this, I think. Through the power of you guys, through the power of us, through the power of Jesus, Jesus Christ and God, we might be able to win that motherfucking iPhone, better smash that notification bell, doing. Well, I've got vertigo, not life-threatening. Some stuff is true, like you need to be cautious with things you do to prevent the dizziness, but you can still live. This video is really dumb, honestly, and you are not dying. This is ridiculous. Okay, so now this is where it gets a little weirder. Fast forward three weeks, and two days ago they uploaded a video. He sings for his dying brother. Don't cry, frown face. <laughs> Guys, the doctor just told us. <laughs> Johnny's got four weeks to live. He doesn't deserve this. And I don't, I'm not bl So now I'm confused, because this is like some heartbreaking shit and he seems genuine. Like, did his brother really get a prognosis that he only has four weeks to live? And now it's four weeks from now, because it said four weeks earlier? I guess we're just gonna have to continue watching to find out. For those of you that are pretty new here, Johnny's my brother. And uh, I'm gonna sing this song for him that me and him both like quite a bit. And uh made a montage for him just to cheer him up a bit 
and uh, we feel prayers out there. We can heal him. Okay, so now we moved on to the montage where he's singing an Ed Sheeran cover. Loving can help. Uh, and asking for your prayers because with the power of your prayers and this montage set to me singing an Ed Sheeran song, uh, we can heal him. This guy, I mean, it is the internet after all. Anything is fucking possible, I guess. Loving can hurt sometimes. But it's real. Guys, we love you all so much and we want to thank every single one of you for the support you've been showing us. Honestly, all the support in the recent video has been absolutely amazing. Like we said, we're quitting YouTube unless Dr. Bergman can heal us. Alright, so it says four weeks later, which I guess is like present day now. And these guys are looking pretty good, I guess, but they're talking about going to this doctor that supposedly is their last hope. Uh, let's, let's keep it, let's keep it rolling. If he can. We ask you guys right now, we're holding a giveaway, two iPhone X's, like we said in the last video, we're gonna be giving those away very, very uh, soon. All you've got to do is like this video, subscribe to our me. channel, and turn on notifications. Be, if you do those three you things, you will be entered into this huge I'm giveaway. The reason giveaway. why we're holding this giveaway is because we're gonna give it And to answer your question, yes, my chair can do this, okay? Fuck. <sighs> so we got another giveaway on the He Sings for His Dying Brother video. Classic Extreme Games. Oh, these guys. I mean, come on. We also want you guys to know that the doctor that we're going to right now, we found him from YouTube. So we want you guys to check out his YouTube channel and subscribe to him. If you subscribe to his channel, you're going to double your chances at winning this giveaway. Turns out the doctor that's going to heal them from dying is also a YouTuber? What a doctor? And if you subscribe to his channel, you double your changes to win the iPhone? Are you fucking kidding me? What kind of racketeering is this? The link is in the top of the description. Go down, click the link, subscribe to his channel, check out his video, seriously. They continue to talk about his YouTube channel and compel their subscribers to go and subscribe to him. This thing smells just a little like a sea bass. It's like a big fish under my nose. It is so early right now, and we're just like, there are that many cars here that it's absolutely crazy. So we're at the Bergman Family Chiropractic Center, and we're going to go in, and hopefully this is the answer, guys. This is the way that we're going to get healed. So we've yeah. been waiting a long time for this. Like, it's crazy, guys. Okay, let me get this straight. You're dying from kidney disease and vertigo, respectively, and you travel to the United States from Australia to see a chiropractor to heal yourself. I mean, I'm not a doctor, I am a detective, but this sounds, I mean, uh, So they fill out the questionnaire. Got an appointment with Dr. Bergman. Okay, welcome. Just wait, let you guys know, just go ahead and fill this part out. So we just finished filling out all the paperwork and stuff. We've got pretty much all of our symptoms we want to show you guys right now that we're feeling. Every single one of these that you guys are seeing right now is a problem that we've been dealing with. <sighs> Honestly. They meet the mysterious Dr. Bergman. Gentlemen. Jonathan, Thomas, I'm Dr. Bergman. Gentlemen, let's get to the bottom of this. Oh, gentlemen, let's get you healthy. And the next 30 minutes are like this bizarre medical assessment done by Dr. Bergman. And then, this is where, I mean, this is where the healing starts to happen, which is exciting stuff. Now the intrinsic muscles, the small muscles of the spine, just relaxed. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cause a deep inflammatory response. They get a chiropractic adjustment. That's what they do. They This whole entire saga leads up to them getting a chiropractic adjustment. So through the power of your prayers, his Ed Sheeran montage, and Dr. Bergman's uncanny ability to heal uh, disease through cracking your bones, uh, they're fucking healed. They said they're fucking, they're fixed. They can make YouTube videos for you guys once again. I hope you won the iPhone. Honestly, I do. What the fuck is that thing? Uh. Right at that top, right where that disc is. You'll see the head's not turned hardly at all. Maintain pressure, and then a slight impulse up. 
Now I was hoping there'd be like a little bit of closure at the end of this, so they're like, ah, we got you guys, we just did this whole skit to promote my father-in-law's chiropractic practice. Come on down and get adjusted and subscribe to his YouTube channel and, and so on, but no, I don't. Maybe they're still sick, maybe he's still dying of kidney disease, I don't know what the fuck's going on, I don't know who to believe anymore, but you better damn sure believe I fucking hit that notification bell because I need a new motherfucking iPhone. But just to show you why there's no closure, I'm gonna, let's play the last 15 seconds of this video just to see how it ends. Rise. Uh, now that's the start of the adjustment. Make sure you drink at least a half a liter of water. Yeah. Um, go walking with your brother barefoot, grass, or hard sand, because we got to change that proprioceptive response. Hey, welcome to care. <sighs> Thanks. That's how it ended. Blue balled the hell out of us. I don't like, after a 51 minute video, you couldn't give us a little send off being like, hey guys, we're feeling a lot better, or Dr. Bergman's chi chiropractical chiropractic to Dr. Bergman's adjustment healed us up and my kidneys work again and my vertigo is gone. We got nothing. So I'm curious to see. I'm now invested in this story. I'm curious to see if they upload again, if they're 100% or if he dies. I have no idea what to expect, but it is a fucking nail biter. So I am waiting on their next upload and I hope you guys will do the same. Well, that's it, you guys. My detective work for the day is done. Listen, I hope you don't feel like I'm making fun of terminal disease, right? I know this, this terminal illness is serious. I know people suffer, people have lost loved ones. And, and that's nothing to laugh about. And I understand that and I'm compassionate and I have empathy for that. But the way these guys went about this, if they are actually suffering from disease, the way they went about this uh, was completely backwards. Which anyone with a fucking brain can see that. And if they're not actually suffering from disease and this whole thing was like a shtick in order to get clicks and views, which they did, these hit the recommended and got way more views than most of their videos have been getting recently. Well, then that just means they're absolute deplorable cunts, which on YouTube, dime a dozen, kind of run of the mill at this point, am I right? So, I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you want. If <laughs> hip thrust that motherfucker, <laughs> the fuck did I just say? What the fuck did I? Let's try that again. Hit. <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you want. Hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. I do appreciate your time. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments. You think they're really dying? Do you think they're faking it? Are you compassionate? Do you think I'm an asshole for making a video on this? Like I said, this was a request. I was just doing the detective work. Oh, baby! Whatever. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>